you guys are quite literally bouncing on my ring light but hello everyone welcome back to my channel happy new year i'm maya if you've never been here before don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on all of my social medias um this is my first sit down video in a very long time so i'm a little bit out of practice and i'm not sure about the setup but i kind of like it i thought today uh since it's the new year we would talk a bit about my new year's resolutions my 2021 bullet journal setup and my vision board so let's just jump right in so i always use a electrum 1917 notebook this one is pink as you can see um i bought it at chapters and this will be my bullet journal for most of the year likely unless i do a ton of bullet journaling i don't normally go through more than one journal so um i'm gonna film some close-ups but First up, I just have the index and I've just numbered the most important pages. I need to add January in there. And then we come to the cover photo, uh, cover page and quote for 2021. So for this, I really wanted to go minimal. Um, I want to focus a lot on minimalism this year. And so I wanted to start that off with my bullet journal. Oftentimes they go really <laughs> like colorful and I just wanted to go pretty minimal so I just wrote the words hello 2021 here in the box well half a box and then I used this washi tape from oh it's down here on this page shop recess um just in a couple of muted colors um on both sides and then my quote I said so I close my eyes to old ends and open my heart to new beginnings and I just added a little like floral doodle here at the top so I thought that was a good way to just like set the minimal, easygoing tone for 2021. So next up, I have my future log here. Um, normally I don't do it this way, but I watched a ton of videos and I really like how it looked. So I laid out the months, um, six on each page. So I had space to write the most important days from each year so far, or from each month. So far I only have like um, people's birthdays that I could remember off the top of my head. So if you don't see your birthday in here, I still care. I just don't remember the exact day off the top of my head. Um, moving on. Oh, so basically I can just add most important days of the year in there. I also used on this page a pink accent. You'll see that a lot through this setup. Um, it's similar to the color of the book and I just wanted one color, one accent, and that is a zebra mild liner. And then the pens I'm using I don't remember what they're called. They are the Micron, oh, Pigma Micron um, pens in 08, 01, and 02. So that's what most of the um, tools are that I used. And then again, just the washi tape in the top and bottom corners. The following page, I did my year in pixels spread and my 2021 goals and intentions spread. So a couple years ago, or last year, I decided to start doing this year in pixels spread. Um, essentially what it is, is instead of having a mood tracker for each month, um, you have one that you track for the whole year and you have one legend and you fill in a box every day. And I'll show you that my 2020 one, 2020 year in pixels looked like this in the end and I just think it's really cool to be able to see a whole yearly overview also because this was a really weird year for everyone and it turned out that there was a lot more good and meh than there was bad the bad is the blue so that's really cool to look back on and so I'm excited to start a whole other year of this one and then on the other page, we have our goals and intentions and affirmations for the year. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about these. Last year, I made a ton of resolutions and I hit a few of them, but I mean, the world kind of fell apart. So we didn't really get to do a lot of the things that we maybe intended. So I went a little bit more laid back this year and really only put the things I really wanted um, on my goals. So my two personal goals for the year are to get a dog. I've been trying to do that for a little while. I haven't succeeded yet. Um, 
and take another solo vacation. So last year I went to Fernie by myself for a few days and it was amazing and I want to do that again. And I think that one is possible despite the regulations. Worst case, I just stay in the city or I go a couple of towns over. I think it's manageable even if we're stuck in this no travel world for another year. So in terms of work, um, I want to reach a uh, thousand followers on Instagram. So if you want to help me reach that goal, I mean, you can follow me on Instagram. That's one. I'm at 720 right now. I feel like it's manageable to get to a thousand. And then I also want to start my podcast. So this year I'm planning on starting a lacrosse and hockey podcast called Nets Off. That will also be linked down below the Instagram. I got a podcast mic for Christmas, so I'm very close. I just need to start doing it. So that's my second work goal. For school, I want to maintain, I think I have a 3.88 right now, but I want to maintain a 3.8 GPA or higher. Um, I want to stay on top of my readings. This past year, I did all of my readings before my classes, and I really want to stay on top of that this year if we have readings. So, And then I am going into the last semester of my third year, and in the spring, we have to get an internship. So that's one of my goals for school is to get an internship. <laughs> Guess that one better get checked off. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit more after. Then my spiritual goals are to learn more about tarot. I had that one last year and I think I actually really did and I've been learning from some great people. Um, I'll link a few people down below that I really like. But I really want to get more into knowing about it so I can make my tarot readings more like well-rounded. And then monthly manifestations. So I'm going to have a section in every month of my bullet journal that basically lays out um, what I want for the month. Um, so yeah, those are my spiritual goals. Um, social goals are to have more coffees or virtual coffees with people. I really like doing that. It really energizes me and I always forget. So I want to put more time into that. And to go out more when the opportunity arises. That was one of last year's goals. And then the world shut down. So I don't know that that's going to happen this year either. But I am a very much a homebody. And I want to try and push myself out of my comfort zone a bit. And in terms of relationships, I want to create more professional connections. I'll leave my LinkedIn below if you want to connect. Um, and just, I didn't know how to write this. But like I want... I love my friends so much, especially my close friends, but I feel like we're all very similar and I really want to meet some new people this year who challenge me as a person, who help me branch out of my comfort zone, who help me reach my goals um, in a different way than my friends do because I love them so much and we are all so similar, but I just want to have like a few other influences in my life and step out of my comfort zone with dating. If we get to see people again, go on more dates. And then in terms of intentions and affirmations, I have a bunch of affirmations. Intentions are to shop and purchase with intention. Like I said, I want to be more minimalist this year. I had, I cleaned out my whole room. Um, I'll show you what it looks like because my mother would like you to see that it's clean now. Um, and I just had so much stuff and I just want to shop with intention and purpose and not clutter everything up again. I want to remove the word should from my vocabulary um, so I don't, I, so I do something because I want it, not because I think I should do it. Um, to trust myself and my body and my intuition more and to do what I want for myself, not what others want for me. So those are going to resurface again when we talk about my vision board, but on to the next page, we've got the word of the year on one side and my tarot readings on the other. So the word of the year this year is trust. Um, and I just put the definition and then I put three quotes that I thought resonated with me for this year. So trust the timing of your life, never trust your fears, they don't know your strength, and I trust the next chapter because I know the author. So you can always flip back to that one. Um, and then what I have done for the last couple of years is done a full yearly tarot reading um, right at the beginning of the year. And then I look back on it and kind of see how the months are going. And this is really interesting because I paid a friend of mine to do some tarot for me. And they uh, have created, have pulled two cards so far, one for the year and one for this quarter. And they are very similar to what I pulled for myself. If you want to know more, I think I'll throw a post up on my blog about my tarot for the month. The next two pages here, we have the 21 things I want to do in 2021. And my content ideas and theme ideas, these ones are blank right now because I don't have any off the top of my head. 
um, theme for my bullet journal content for my Instagram blog videos and podcasts. And then last year I made a 20 things to do in 2020 video or list and I didn't accomplish any of them. So I have put them on this list, but my, uh, and I only have six things right now, but I have take a solo trip, get a dog, pierce my ears, learn Final Cut Pro, get a tattoo and write more. So those will also resurface when we talk about my vision board. But then just finishing off the last few spreads, I have a spread to track all the movies I watched this year and to track the TV shows that I watched. Then I have a things to check out spread um, where I can put anything that anyone mentions to me throughout the year, podcasts, TV shows, movies, YouTubers, music, and books. And then I just have my stats tracker for all of my different platforms here. And I wrote, creativity is not a competition. I try and remind myself it's more about what I'm creating than the number of people that are watching. So the last page I have here is currently blank. It is my 2021 vision board, but um, I worked really hard this morning to get my wall vision board done. So I haven't pasted these ones in yet. Then I also decided this year that reading is one of the things I really, really want to do more of. So I created a book journal within my YouTube or within my bullet journal. Um, it has a reading challenge from all the rad reads. I will link her down below and then a place to track all of my reads for the year. My goal is 12. I read 10 this year. So I think one a month is a good goal. And then any books that I want to read whether I own them or if they're from the library. And that's it for my setting up for 2021. I have my January spread in here, but I'm not gonna show you guys that right now. So yeah, that's basically my intentions and my planning for the new year. So the only thing I really have left to show, my vision board. So the way I built my vision board is I put, I pinned a ton of pins on Pinterest. So. This year, because I love vision boards so much, I'm making three. I'm making this one that I'm gonna show you, which is going to go right there in that empty space on my wall. I'm making one that's gonna go on my desktop um, background and I'm making one that's gonna go in my bullet journal. And I also tend to make monthly ones in my bullet journal because I'm crazy. Anyway, um, so what I did is I pinned tons of pictures into the three different boards on Pinterest. This morning I went through and I pulled down the ones that I wanted, cut and arranged, and now I have my mainly finished 2021 vision board. Um, I'll show you here. So as you can see, there are some blank spaces. I did not put as many photos as I thought. So I'm gonna print some more off kind of as I go and add them into the blank spaces. But shall we talk about what we have here? I'll just do a close up for you guys. I can't really see because I don't have my glasses on because the ring light reflects in my glasses. So I hope this is in focus and that you guys are having a good time. <laughs> um, so up here in this top right hand corner, I have put um, logos of all the industries and businesses that are like my dream companies. So there you go. You can see some of the ones on here we've got the Liberal Party of Canada, Brookline PR, that's a PR, industry, uh, PR agency in the city. We've got Maple Leaf Sports and CSAC, the Flames organization. We've got another um, Calgary agency, North Strategic. And then we also have Bar Down, they make sports content. I mean, Instagram, that's pretty straightforward. And Random House um, Publishing and the influence agency. So while I know that um, a few of these are way outside of my reach for an internship probably this year, I just wanted to have them there so I'm looking towards them and knowing like what, why I'm still doing my degree and things like that. And who knows what might happen. So if you work for any of those companies and you're watching this video and you might wanna hire me, um, I'm definitely available to chat. <laughs> uh, so that's like the most practical piece of my bullet, of my, God, how many words, vision board. So then we're gonna move over to the other side here, the left hand side, zoom in there for you. So here we've got getting a tattoo. You'll see that the way I built this vision board is I took the things that are on my to-do list for the year and on my intentions, affirmations and um, goals, and I visualized them. So I have, 
uh, tattoo. I want to get a palm tree. I have hitting a thousand subscriber or er, followers. Hey, subscribers too, if you want. Starting my podcast and learning more about tarot. And then down here is kind of my more wishful thinking side because I don't know that we're going to get to travel anywhere this year. But if we do, these are the four places that are highest on my list right now. So up here we got LA. I love that place so much. <laughs> I miss it so much. Um, not being able to go across the border is just like so sad. And I feel for the people who are living there too. And I miss that place. It's my happy place. Then we have New York, a second place I love so much. And then down here we have Sweden. Sweden is one of my like dream destinations overseas right now. And then in the bottom here we have Atlanta. I've just been hearing so many good things about it. And I actually chose this image specifically because it has the Coca-Cola Museum. If you watched Vlogmas, you'd know that we did a research, um, basically study on Coca-Cola and nostalgia. And we read about this museum and I want to go so badly. So those are my wishful thinking travel plans for the year. And then down here, um, we've got this image to symbolize taking a solo road trip. We've got getting coffee with somebody. And then I've got the two pictures of dogs here for my getting a dog. Um, I Frenchies are my favorite, but I've also found so many Italian greyhounds on Instagram that I love. Um, Tika, the, I don't know, Iggy. She's so freaking cute. And this one's wearing a sweater, which is really important to me. I want my dog to be able to wear clothes. So these are to represent getting dog this year. Um, up here is my getting good grades <laughs> image. And this one's just like get about school, having a good setup, doing my readings, being all like, you know, academic and that kind of stuff. This is seeing my friends more and making better connections. This one is a little bit of romance. Gotta put the romance on the vision board. And then this one is writing. And yeah, that is my vision board as it currently stands. But anything else I add will probably be of the same um, kind of ilk. If not, maybe a little bit of fashion stuff and shopping. That kind of thing for my minimalist idea. But yeah, I'm gonna put this up right there. And I'll be able to look at it all the time. So... I want to know what your intentions are and your goals for the new year. And honestly, if you don't um, want to do this, that is totally fine. I've seen a lot of people whose resolutions are just like, be healthy, be happy, like be who I am and continue to make myself better. And that is totally valid, 100%. I am somebody who sees a new year, a new month, a new week as such a transition point and I love planning and making vision boards and making my bullet journal spreads for every month. So for me, I love having goals and intentions to guide me for this year, but I also don't hold them as the highest power. If something in my goals doesn't fit me in a month, two months, three months, whatever. It's not the end of the world if they don't get completed. So that is my um, little speech about that. But if you do have some goals or intentions or something you really want to do this year, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to this year. And I will be back every Sunday as best as I can. I don't know what school's going to be like this semester with a new video. My website and my blog, they're going to be ready to go super soon. My podcast. And of course, I'm always posting on Instagram. I am the most active on there. So make sure you check all the links down below. And I hope you guys have an amazing, prosperous start to your year. And let's make this one 10 times better than last year. Bye!